Namaskar, Atul Gopal from Plugin India and uh, welcome to the first in a series of videos that we are going to be have about battery technology. Uh, we are at Shirwal today in Satara district of Maharashtra at a factory owned by a company or a, at a factory of Cheda Electricals and Electronics Private Limited and we are here in conversation with Abhay Patwardhan ji. Welcome Abhay ji. Uh, Abhay is director of this company and he heads the electric vehicle unit division of the company. So Abhay ji has spent almost 15 years in the electric vehicle industry uh, and uh, maybe we can hear a little bit about the kind of experience, the work that he has done in the past in the EV industry. Abhay ji, can we start with that? So I have been working in this field since 2006. Okay, and by this time it's almost 2021, uh, 15 years. Uh, earlier five years have been uh, into service industry. I was with TCS, majorly working for OEMs like uh, outside India, North America, Japan, working on electric vehicle technologies. So I had a complete blend of what kind of engineering processes, maturities, uh, as well as what kind of uh, technology development is happening in the EV space uh, since then. And then 2012 onwards, I shifted completely into a domestic uh, product for Indian markets. And I was with Mahindra Electric uh, R&D Center uh, uh, between 2012 to 2015, like uh, one year before the E2O launch to one year, nearly 15 months after the E2O launch. Completely uh, uh, handling the gestation, my product uh, development to the complete gestation even including the customer feedbacks for initial tethering periods and all. So completely seen the complete uh, development life cycle from the Indian perspective as well or deployment, deployed that. Being the first in India for EVs, we were just not confined to the electric vehicles, but we also had to take care of the ecosystem. So the first fast charge station was developed again uh, during the E2. At that time, even IEC 61851 didn't have all those standards which are there today. So it was first with GB by T, uh, the first fast station. So that was also conceived. Then for three years, uh, 2015, 16, 17, uh, 17 and a half, I was with KPIT and completely worked onto the bus platform. The first electric bus which we worked with CIRT. So, so the complete architecture was uh, done by me. And so, uh, so complete spectrum right from uh, the technologies outside India the complete development of first TV vehicle in India. So completely a different perspective to the development, Scale up, scaling up the complete thing to the bus platform, the first electric bus. And then since 2018, I have been with Cheda Electricals. Uh, uh, we, we are basically working on the back-end technology away from wheels, uh, working on the BMS, working on vehicle control issues, the chargings and blah, uh, uh, those kind of things. In fact, uh, you know, probably the first time I interacted with Abhay was when I had to make a decision about uh, buying an E2O myself and uh, I took his advice and I have not regretted it. It's a lovely car Abhay, thank you so much. And uh, the good part is that my car has run about 80,000 kilometers today and still we have a range of about 70 to 80 kilometers left in the car. So amazing range at the end of such a long life, Abhay, what's the secret sauce that went into making the E2O battery pack? See, basically a couple of things there, okay. One is the basic cell itself is pretty good. The chemistry was well appropriately chosen for Indian uh, uh, conditions, like Indian weather conditions, as well as Indian us uh, usage abuse as well. Uh, and also there was a co appropriate cooling mechanism being provided, the winds and so the all together basically has uh, resulted into what experience you have. Uh, and it's not surprised, I am not surprised with what the numbers you have been saying because our internal testing has even showed much, much promising uh, numbers than what you have been talked of. And even before we introduced in the market, we had sufficient internal testing been done to ensure that the battery which we are putting into the market is very, very appropriate. Because that's probably would have been the pioneer uh, or setting a trend or putting some first example into the market. So we were pretty cautious about that and all respects. So uh, Abhay, now coming to the last three, four years of your career, uh, you've been for working on this battery and uh, we're kind of uh, you know, not seen in the, in the market as yet. So, what's the status on the battery currently? So, so we have been working on uh, ba battery manufacturing or uh, I call it battery engineering for last uh, three and a half years now. 
2018 we started uh, when we talk of batteries end to end like the uh, the mechanical integration of it the thermal management of it as well as uh, the battery management aspect of it as well uh, so we have been working we basically uh, started with lfp because personally i feel that that's the right chemistry for indian tropical conditions uh, being the temperature abuse as well as the usage abuse conditions uh, so we stick to lfp we also stick to the form factor of pouch because that's midway between the cylindrical and the prismatic every everything everything has got their plus and minus so we could be in pouch so that we could be uh, uh, we could be scalable to the requirement of the particular platform uh, also the pouch has got the intrinsic uh, advantages as well uh, from uh, perspective of packing okay as well as the performance of the uh, cell so we said that we will live, we will go ahead with lfp and also we will go ahead with pouch moment we said that the pouch handling is a technology because pouch is in between right so it is the only form factor which doesn't have the casing or a mechanical reinforcement right so uh, creating that uh, sustain uh, that casing for automotive environment i think that's the technology in that so last two and a half years we have been working on that technology uh, it's we call it as a battery engineering which basically is packaging of it uh, the secured packaging as well as the thermal management because the module has to be such that it is scalable it's scalable from perspective of kilowatt hours into that as well as it's scalable from the perspective of thermal management the same module can be used for the uh, uh, natural air cooling kind of application the same module with heat sink can be used for better uh, enhancement of the thermal management can be used with the fans through the heat sink for the forced air as well as uh, a water cooling jackets onto the heat sink for the water cooling so beat any kind of uh, th uh, application requirement the model remains the same securely packed well for the automotive applications for those vibrations and bump conditions and still can manage the thermal management of that respective application demand so that was around two and a half years process in route we also developed our own bms which is completely iot connected fully diagnosable right from uh, the electrochemistry layer to the application layer to the even hardware layer and even to the business aspect of it uh, so the complete system so it's i think it's taking three and a half years right so abhay thank you very much and in our next video we will actually get to see the stuff that abhay has been making for three years so aap kahin chhod ke jaiyega mat thank you very much <laughs>